channel so it's finally december 25th i wanted to come on and say merry christmas to everyone i also want to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me all the way through vlogmas um there were some people who are literally here from the beginning and watched literally probably like every video and commented and really interacted with me everybody already knows because i done said it a thousand times this is my first time doing vlogmas and I'm just so happy like I made it through and like I showed myself I can do it. And it got kind of difficult at, at certain points, but I pretty much was able to like bring it all back together and complete it. And like that was one of my goals to um, complete Vlogmas all the way through and I was able to do it. So I'm proud of myself. So all of the new followers or what are they called? I'm sorry. All of the new subscribers that I gained during Vlogmas. I hope you guys stick around. Yes, Vlogmas is over, but um, I'm definitely going to continue to upload and build my channel. I think starting the new year, I'm going to start out with like a schedule. I'm going to try to upload at least three times a week. Don't like, you know, if I change this later on, you know, don't kind of, don't drag me <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, so I'm going to start out trying to upload three times a week. So what I want to do is upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's my goal. That's what I'm going to try to do. Hopefully I can do it. And hopefully you guys like really enjoy my content because I have like a lot of ideas and things that I want to do. And I kind of know the direction that I want to go with my channel. So I just hope it all works out. And I hope you guys stick around. And like I always say, if you're new here or if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so you already know today is Christmas because I said at the beginning, Merry Christmas. So yeah, it's Christmas. It's about, what time is it? I think it's like almost five o'clock. I don't know. But anyway, so um, I've been super busy this morning. That's why usually like my Vlogmas videos were going up at eight o'clock. But I didn't like film one yesterday because I wanted to actually film on Christmas. So yeah, I was super busy this morning. Anybody else who has like kids or teenagers or whatever, like y'all already know when it's Christmas, they get up so early. Um, my kids didn't do too bad this year. Uh, normally, they get up sometimes at like five or six o'clock. But this year when they got up, it was almost like eight. So I already was able, I actually, I woke up at like two or three and put everything out or whatever. So yeah, they got up around eight and opened their, give, their gifts and we... Mm -hmm, Nike ones. <laughs> That's for when you get your um, game, even though we weren't able to get it yet. But that's like a new head on and all of that stuff. And we, you know, just enjoyed our little time together and ate and did stuff like that. We went to my mom's house for a little while. But anyway, now they're gone. They are with their dad. So me and my mom are about to go to my brother's house. But first, I wanted to um, do like a little Christmas story time video. So that's what we're about to do. Okay, so this story is about the time that all of my kids' Christmas presents got stolen. And like, this isn't clickbait. This isn't just something that I'm making up. Like, this literally happened. And I was like devastated. It was horrible. <laughs> but anyway, so let me go ahead and tell you the story. Okay, so this happened in 2018. So this is 2020. So yeah, two years ago. So in 2018, in it was either it had to be October. In October, I got my car, my car that I have now, and I got it brand new. It was a brand new 2018 Camry. So, you know, I was just getting used to this car, just learning it and everything. And I really like love this car. I still do. It's still the car that I have now. And I just, you know, it had like all these different features and all of this different stuff. So anyway, fast forward to like some weeks later after I just, you know, had first got the car, it was Black Friday 
And this particular Black Friday was a regular Black Friday, not one like it was this year where you couldn't really even do anything in the stores. But, you know, a regular Black Friday where you had to actually like stand in these long lines at Walmart and Target and everywhere else. So this year, my kids had asked for my oldest son wanted a PlayStation 4, which fast forward to 2020. Now he wanted a PlayStation 5. But anyway, he wanted a PlayStation 4. Hanson, the youngest, wanted a Nintendo Switch. They both wanted a laptop. And what else did they want? I don't know. They wanted other stuff, but those were like the big ticket items that they wanted. So, of course, it's Black Friday. Like I told y'all before, I love doing Black Friday. So, I stood in the lines, me and my mom. I think we got both things from Target. We did. We ended up getting both things from Target because Target had the PS4 and it had the... um the switch it had the laptop it also had like the gaming headphones on like this special for black friday it had um what else did we get like the controllers and all of that so anyway yeah i was able to get all of that on black friday everything i just named so i was so happy i was excited i had done pretty much got their christmas out of the way besides whatever little stuff so anyway um Okay, <laughs> this may have been a point where I was overthinking. I don't know. But anyway, so I had all of this Christmas stuff. And um, and you guys know I live in an apartment. Now, my apartment isn't like small, but it isn't like huge either. So me being a mom, I guess I was thinking, oh, if I like bring all of this stuff in and like try to hide it in my closet, maybe a chance that they would see it. Because I guess then I was still... I like the element of surprise and stuff for Christmas and they don't know what they're getting and you know, I don't know. <laughs> so I didn't want to bring it in the house, which I just should have anywhere. So yeah, I didn't want to bring the stuff in the house because like sometimes, I mean, not my older son, but Hanson, sometimes he's like in my room, you know, we come, he hangs out in here and stuff with me. So I'm like, no, they might see their gifts, whatever, whatever. Because remember, it was still a few weeks before, before Christmas because I got this stuff Black Friday. So I decided <laughs> to leave the gifts in the car, like all the gifts, well not, I mean all the big ticket stuff. I left the PlayStation, I put it all in the trunk now, put it all in the trunk, the PlayStation the Nintendo Switch, the laptop. I had bought um, the gaming headphones. I had bought another controller because I think the PlayStation only came with one controller or something like that. So yeah, I left it all in the trunk, but I'm like, oh, you know, I got a brand new car. I got all these features, blah, blah, blah. It'll be fine in there. Like, I don't know in my head. So I left it in the trunk. And now this where the whole car things comes into play because like I said, I was still getting to know this car and learning the car was brand new and i had had a camry right before that one but both of them supposedly had like the auto lock feature so say like if i um walk off from the car and don't press the button on my key fob like after a few minutes it still just automatically locks and even though i had only had this car a few weeks it still had done that so many times like say like if i was going grocery shopping or something and i would be like you know only able to carry a certain amount of groceries so i could take i would take what i could and then by the time i would sit those groceries down and go back to the car the door would be locked so i would have to go back in the house unlock the car and get the groceries out that's how this car was that's how my previous camry was and that's how this new camry was like it would just automatically lock after a few minutes but me i still always try to remember to hit the lock even now like when i'm in the house especially since this happened when i'm in the house like i even hit it from inside the house and it'll still lock i guess it's because like where i live the i don't know if they call these the condos or apartments but i don't know but we park underneath so my car is like parked underneath my house so i can just press the thing like right down at my floor and it locks so i was always doing that so i don't know what happened what i did different this particular time but for some reason this brand new car with all of these great features and everything that i had only had a few weeks and i was just loving for some reason it didn't lock i don't know why so let me back up a little bit so um the kids weren't out of school yet and so yeah i got the stuff black friday the stealing happened i know it was like right before christmas but the kids weren't out for christmas break yet so it happened somewhere in there so i remember we were leaving the house one morning i was going to take them to school 
and usually you know they go downstairs and if i didn't press the unlock thing you know they can't get in the car they just standing at the car waiting for me to come unlock the door so we can get in and i take them to school so i go downstairs and i noticed they were like already in the car well my youngest one was already in the back seat the oldest one he was like moving some stuff in the front seat and I'm like, well, what are you doing? And I said, how y'all got in the car anyway? And they was like, oh, it was open. So I'm like, I didn't think nothing of it. So then he was like moving stuff out of the front seat. And then he was about to sit down. And I was like, well, what is all that? What you doing? Because how I am with my cars, like, I don't know about anybody else. I don't know if it's a girl thing, but maybe not. Because I know other girls whose car is not so clean. But I like my cars clean. I don't like nothing left in my cars. I like my floors clean and vacuumed. Sometimes I don't do it, but I try to do as much as possible. But I don't like nothing left in my cars. Water bottles, drink cups, all of that stuff that you be seeing in people's cars. I don't like it. Oh, I had finally took those braids out, y'all, and got a um, blowout. And I got my ends trimmed. My hair looks so much healthier. But anyway, back to the story. Okay, so I do not like dirty cars period i keep my car clean so i was asking my son like what are you doing what is all that stuff and he was like i don't know he was like all of this stuff was in the seat so i was trying to move it so i could sit down and get in the car i'm like in the seat what are you talking about so then i get up closer to the car I open my door i see somebody had done gone through the glove compartment they had done gone through the what is the thing in the middle like the armrest thing and i don't know I just could tell somebody had been in the car and had done pulled out stuff and gone through. And I don't keep nothing in my car anyway, except for during this time, Bright Idea Me kept the Christmas presents in the trunk. So immediately when I saw all of that, I was like, oh my gosh, like I hope. I was like, dang, somebody done, you know, got in the car or whatever. And I was like, dang, like I hope, it's, you know, I hope they didn't get the stuff out of the trunk. So I opened the trunk. The stuff was gone. <laughs> like gone. Gone, gone. Okay. But it was so weird because what was gone was the PlayStation. Because I remember it was like the Spider-Man bundle or something. Whatever Target had for Black Friday that year. The PlayStation was gone. The extra controller that I had bought was gone. The gaming headsets that I bought was gone. The laptop was gone. They left because I think I bought them when I bought the PlayStation and the Nintendo Switch. I bought also additional PlayStation games and Nintendo Switch games. They left the PlayStation games. They left the Nintendo Switch games and they left the Nintendo Switch, which was, was it around the same price? A Nintendo Switch back then. Yeah, it was like three something because it was like a bundle. You got like a game or something with it. I think they both were probably like three something. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, they left the switch. I guess it was a nice, um, what is, is it a burglar or a robber? I don't know, whatever that name is, a nice theft person. So he left the switch and the games, but he took the PlayStation, the laptop. I was like devastated. The kids didn't know because they didn't even know what was in there. So I shut the trunk, got back in the car. And I was just like, kind of like tearing up. They could tell something was wrong with me. And they was like, what's wrong? I'm like, what's wrong? You know, you, all this time, you know, they sitting in the car waiting for me to take them to school. They was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? So I, I don't know. I was just so upset. So I told them, you know, I was like, I was like, it looks like somebody, um, you know, got into our car, was able to open our car. And I was like, I had some, um, some Christmas presents in the trunk. I told them I had some Christmas presents in the trunk and they took them. I didn't tell them the switch was still there, but um, I told them. And then it just so happened when I was sitting there trying to like get myself together so I could get them to school on time. I saw like another police officer out there. And so apparently like I kind of flagged him down and whatever, told him what happened. And so apparently several other people's cars in my neighborhood or complex or whatever had done got broken into that night. So whoever this person was, was just walk around checking cars, seeing which ones they could open. And me, you know, thinking whatever, I'm thinking even if I don't press the button, my car automatically locks. So he was out there working with, I mean, it was like two or three police officers. And um, they were out there, you know, 
getting information and all of that on other people's cars. So I, my, my kids' school is right down the street. So I was able to run them to school, came back, talked to the officers. And they were like, yeah, you know, it was several cars out here. They, like, fingerprinted my car and all type of stuff. And then, um, yeah, and then they did did the report but it wasn't really too much they could do i was like so devastated and i remember my son ended up having like a bad day at school that day and i think it's because it was like in his head like dang like somebody took stole our christmas presents but anyway so yeah like i was so upset so immediately i was just ugh, sick but um Okay, so I told my mom, I was crying, I told my mom, I told like a couple of my friends, my brother, and they were like, oh, it's okay, you know, we'll help you get the stuff back, or we'll help you, not get the stuff back, but you know, we'll help you like repurchase it, you still have like a week or so before Christmas or whatever, you still have time. So I'm like, okay, but in the meantime, because it wasn't even about like, would I be able to buy this stuff again or whatever, because I know I have people who would help me with that and, you know, who equally like care about my kids and stuff just as much and, you know, want them to want to see them happy and stuff on Christmas. But it was just like, I was just devastated. Like, I just felt like it was my fault. I was blaming myself. I'm like, why didn't I like do this right? Or I don't know when stuff like that happens, I get like that where I'm blaming myself. So then immediately, like we, me and one of my friends was kind of like in detective mode or something because we was like, okay, how they are around here, like in my city, if they probably didn't steal whatever because they wanted it, they stole it like to get some money to resell it. So it was like, okay, we already know they probably going to be online or something on Facebook or something trying to sell it. When I tell you, when we got on Facebook, the little Facebook marketplace and video games and all that, you know, you could go to the different sections. Like somebody was selling a PlayStation for the exact kind, the Spider-Man edition and all of that that you could only get at Target. Like the exact one that just had got stolen from me. So I told the detectives and stuff and I said, you know, maybe this is it because this person just listed this however many hours ago and, you know, and mine was stolen and blah, blah, blah. And they probably trying to get rid of it real quick and stuff, but it wasn't really any sure way. So what they did was they called Target to make sure, because I still have my receipt and everything. So they made sure that if they did retrieve this PlayStation that this person was selling, would they be able to match it up and say like, oh yeah, this is the same exact one that she bought. You're the one that stole it. So yeah, they, they are able to do that. So they were like, okay, maybe you should, um, you know, we'll try contacting them on like one of our fake, I guess undercover police Facebook accounts. I don't know. And then there was like you and I said, I want to try contacting them too. But then I was like, if I do it, what if they know who they stole it from or something? I'd be thinking about everything. So my friend did it. We contacted them. The police contacted them. They never responded. Never anything. <laughs> it, nothing came of that. I was really upset. I was like ready to catch them. But then after a few days, I just realized I had to let it go. And just be thankful that I could like repurchase this stuff, you know, for my kids. So I end up, oh, the PlayStation. So, you know, they stole the first one. So then it was funny because like my brother, like I said, I told my brother and he was like, oh, you know, don't worry. I got them a PlayStation. I, you know, I'll just give them mine. So when he said that, <laughs> that's why people be thinking I'm like whatever type of way. Because when he said, I was like, oh, no, you don't have to give them yours. Because I thought he was saying he already had one. So he was going to give them like a used one or something. Either way, I would have been thankful. But I was like, no, you don't have to do that. Because I was thinking, he's like, oh, I'm willing to give up my game. Because my brother's a gamer, too. He liked video games since we was little. He had to have all the video games. But anyway, so I was thinking he was, like, going to give up his game. So my son could have. I'm like, no, you could do that. I mean, you don't have to do that. I'll figure out a way to buy him another one. So he was like, oh, no, no, no. I got one on Black Friday, too. Because I forgot, you know, my brother does Black Friday shopping, too. Me, we used to be out there at the same time or whatever. But yeah, he had purchased one that Black Friday too. So what he did was just gave me the brand new one that he purchased. So I didn't have to buy the PlayStation over. So I um, just had to buy the controller over, the game of headphones. And then the laptop, I had to, I had to buy it over. But then like, as the days went on and we went, me and the kids were more in depth talking about the laptop, then kind of find out. They didn't want a laptop they had to share. They wanted like their own new laptop. So I ended up having to buy two laptops actually after I had done always already spent this money, got the stuff stolen, had to repurchase stuff over again. But anyway, so they ended up, even though that unfortunate thing happened and that sucks and I just, I don't understand thieves and people that steal and 
it just irks me it irks me um and stuff like that happens to me sometimes i just feel like dang because i remember like for i mean not stuff like oh people just breaking my cars but i don't know that's why i just I don't like that. I, I don't understand it. People who feel like they have to steal. I just don't get it. I don't even, I don't buy stolen stuff. You know how you can like get outfits and stuff for shoplifters? No, because I don't support that stuff in any type of way. Because I wouldn't want nothing stolen from me. Even though they're not stealing it from a person, they're stealing it from a store. Either way, I just don't like people that steal. I don't trust people like that. But anyway, so yeah, what was I saying? So yeah, even that unfortunate thing happened. It, you know kind of taught my kids in a way like what's important because they were like mom it's okay you know don't worry about it and this this and that of course they were probably thinking like dang we're not gonna have our christmas gifts or whatever and they didn't know until christmas morning that i was able to like repurchase the stuff you know they didn't know until they was opening the gifts but yeah it just taught me like i don't know what did it teach me that people are really like messed up <laughs> but yeah i don't know i was able to purchase this stuff over again that happened two years ago. I was like devastated when it first happened, but then it all came full circle because they ended up waking up Christmas morning with everything they asked for. So yeah, I was really thankful for that and really happy and all that. So yeah, I just wanted to share that story with y'all of that unfortunate thing. Oh, learn from me. Whether it's a new car, whatever kind of car, don't be like, oh, automatic lock. Make sure your door is locked. When you get a new car, learn the features. I still don't understand why that happened because even while the police were there, because they were like, oh yeah, your car, you know, it's just a brand new car, your car should lock. And I'm like, yeah, it's supposed to lock automatically even if I don't press the button. We even tested it. We even tested it <laughs> while they were there. I acted, you know, I, I had the car open, like I was getting something out. We just shut the doors. I went upstairs, they were still down there. Came back down, tried to open the door. It was locked. I didn't press the button at all, but the car was locked. So I don't know what type of, what I did wrong or differently or whatever that night that that happened. But, but anyway, yeah, learn your vehicles, learn the features. Always make sure your door is locked no matter what, even if your car is supposed to be automatic locked. Um, me, like I said, now, even when I'm not sure, I press that button even inside the house to make sure that dang old car is locked because that sucked. If you still, you suck. You do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's a little story time of what happened when all of my kids' gifts got stolen. Um, I, I ain't gonna say I hope you enjoyed that story, but that's the story time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of my upcoming uploads this new year. You know, like I said, I have a pretty good idea of the direction I want my channel to go in. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys continue to watch me grow. All right, that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.